So a while ago now, I put out a tweet saying that if you didn't like the cutout display design, 2020 was gonna be a torrid year for you. And following on from that, we've seen phone after phone with this same cutout design on the left side, on the right side, in the middle, with the general rule of thumb that smaller is better, taking up less of the screen being less of an eyesore in that screen display. Except that is if you're Huawei. According to the latest leaks, and in China at least, a lot of people are saying that this is a real device. Huawei have chosen the most massive, huge, cutout display, at least for the P40 Pro. So there is no way to verify this leak, although as I said, a lot of people are saying this is how it will be. The P40 Pro, as we've seen from a couple of previous leaks, maybe having not just two cameras in that cutout, but a depth sensor or a time of flight sensor as well. So this will be by far and away the biggest cutout we've ever seen in a smartphone. Huawei will of course say that they've packed in a load of very good high quality cameras and a depth sensor in that cutout, but it certainly takes up a huge portion of the display, like the Nova 6 and the V30, which were released recently. Both of those using LCD displays and very big displays, having dual cutouts. Those cutouts were bigger than, for example, phones from Redmi and Realme, who also use dual cutouts. Huawei have obviously decided that they're just gonna go big with these cutouts. And the P40 Pro render has been compared to the P30 Pro render. And actually you can see that more of the screen is taken up by this cutout than the water drop notch on the P30 Pro. So yeah, the screen to body ratio on the P40 Pro might be taking a bit of a hit. We also had these leaks or renders of a mint green color for the upcoming P40 Pro. Again, a green color has been rumored in China. A lot of people saying that there is a green color coming. I actually think this mint green color looks really, really nice. I would love to see that in the finished device. There was also a leak from Digital Trends that showed a prototype P40 series device. You can see that the branding, the logo are all different. This is a prototype and it would be done like that to keep some anonymity so that people didn't guess which phone it was if they saw it. Following the design of the P30 series more or less, a bigger camera bump squared off as well. We can see in that that it's keeping the periscope zoom camera. We knew that anyway from leaks. Again, some news and information from China suggests that this is actually a real prototype unit too. So we can be pretty sure that this more or less is going to be the final design of the P40 Pro. Some more news suggest that an upcoming Honor device, probably the Honor 30, and an upcoming Huawei Nova device, probably the Nova 7 Pro, will be using the periscope zoom camera from the P30 Pro. That means Huawei are moving that technology down into their mid-range devices. The P40 Pro also expected to keep the 5X periscope zoom, the P40 Pro Premium Edition that's been rumored, possibly using a 10X. So the rumored Premium Edition definitely is gonna go head-to-head -head with the S20 Ultra, no doubt about that. But the P40 Pro has some stiff competition, especially from Oppo right now. More information, more leaks, more official marketing materials from Oppo show that we're gonna get a device that looks remarkably similar to the P40 Pro. It'll be using a periscope zoom camera, a big main lens, a very good ultra wide camera as well, 120 hertz refresh rates, a single cutout camera, most people would prefer that design. And a Snapdragon 865, which many people prefer over the Kirin chipsets. Not to mention 65 watt fast charging, which is just an incredible spec and definitely beats the Huawei fast charging specs on paper anyway. We'll see what Huawei can bring in terms of Huawei mobile services at their launch event, but definitely still no Google on those phones and people may be looking elsewhere. The Oppo Find X2 Pro certainly ticks all the boxes on the spec sheet. Let me know if you maybe are looking at that phone, you prefer the design or you think the big pill cutout that Huawei is using is fine because they're putting so much tech inside it. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.